Hi, this is Steve from Audix. Today we're going to be talking about the TM2, a really unique tool for test and measurement of in-ear monitors. I'm using it today in conjunction with a very simple two-channel USB audio interface. You can also use it um, with uh, digital mixing consoles and pretty much any USB audio interface. Uh, in this two-channel mode here, it's a simple loop through so that we have a reference, and I'll be using SMART as our test and measurement software today. So my loop through is coming from output B into channel two. My TM2 is coming into input channel number one. Now I do require phantom power for the TM2. You can really kind of think of the TM2 as basically functioning like a test and measurement microphone that you might use for measuring a loudspeaker system. But today we're gonna to use it for testing an in-ear monitor. The other convenient part about using a two-channel audio interface like this, it'll drive the headphones directly. We don't need an extra headphone amplifier. Uh, it'll drive it directly out of the interface. So here's the TM2. We're going to go ahead and plug it in. I already have phantom power engaged. And it comes with three different adapters that match the throat size of all the most popular IEMs on the market today. It also comes with a calibration adapter, and this matches with several industry standard calibrators. We'll talk about that in a separate video. So we uh, just simply screw on the adapter that is the right size for the IEMs that we're testing. So today we have a set of Audex A10Xs we're going to measure, so I've got the proper adapter for those. We'll go ahead and just seat that into the adapter. They fit nice and snug. You feel them just bottom out there, and that's what you want to do. Push them in until it's nice and firm. Now, if you want to take a look at SMART, we'll show you our input and output configuration. Pretty standard that you'd set up for any uh, test and measurement software. We have input 1, which is the TM2, and input 2 is the loop that we just showed, looping output B into channel 2 of the interface for our loop through. Output-wise, this is how we're routing our pink noise. Output 2 is what I just mentioned. That's the output for the reference loop. And then I'll toggle between 3 and 4 as we test the left and right uh, IEM separately. So we'll go ahead and turn on our generator within SMART and go ahead and kick on our transfer function. And here we're showing the magnitude response of the frequency response overall of the uh, IEM, the phase wrap. We can zoom in and take a look at the uh, impulse response. And we see pretty quickly that we got everything going in the right direction on that impulse response. So everything is in correct polarity. To save a trace in SMART, you just push the space bar. We can save it as today's date. Uh, let's just call it 10-30-2020. And that saves to our trace folder up here in the upper left-hand side. I can stop the trace, and I can compare it to a previous trace that we did earlier today and see pretty quickly if there's any difference. Here's another IEM that we, that we measured previously. So you can quickly see from your saved traces versus the trace that you're doing in real time if there's been any changes to your IEM response between the original trace and the trace that you're doing the day of the show. So a really handy tool with the TM2 ensures that your IEMs are uh, functioning to specification or to the way that they were when they were new and will work with pretty much any USB audio interface or digital mixer. To learn more, go to audexusa.com. I'm Steve Young. Thanks for watching.